We left Tashkent, Uzbekistan at 6 a.m. 8 September 1963, flying across the Kizilkum Desert to the delta of the Amu Darya on the Aral Sea. There we turned southwest, crossing Karabogaz Gol and the Caspian proper on our way to Baku on the Apsharan Peninsula of Azerbaijan. Scientists at the Central Asian Institute for Hydrology had expressed concern for the falling water levels in the Caspian Sea and the role of the Karabogaz Gol in that equation. In 1963, the Karabogaz Gol was two meters lower than the Caspian, a receding shoreline of the Kara. In 1972, we had the first Landsat image. Inlet between Caspian and the Karabogaz Gol. In 1980, a dam was constructed to hold back Caspian water, which would be lost in the Kara. The dam was finished just as the long drought in the Volga Basin was ending. The Kara dried up ten times as fast as hydrologists had predicted, leaving a basin without water by 1983. Desertification accelerated as wind-blown salts ruined thousands of hectares of land. Some water was leaked past the dam, creating a small lagoon even before the dam was removed in 1992. By 1995, Kara had returned to its 1930 level. Human manipulation of the Karabogaz goal illustrates the danger if not the folly of major engineering projects in the face of variable climate. The Caspian is deeper and has fewer suspended particulates to reflect light than the Kara, hence the lower evaporation rate. This completes part two of Soviet arid lands, part three coming soon. After Supreme Commander MacArthur gave the order, all Japanese weapons were to be destroyed. Follow the path of historical swords as secret societies and superpowers threaten their existence in Hachimantaro.